Tell me again. So I lived here all my life, that mailbox right there on the other side, so I know the history of the flooding. Yeah, that one woman, she won't leave. One of them. <laughs> uh, he said one of them. I think it might have been her. Yeah. Uh, she's been there all our life and probably ain't going nowhere. See what guy is standing right on the right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably right there in front of him. The house is best I can tell. Certainly a tragedy. Certainly a tragedy. I don't need to be on no camera no way. <laughs> I do. I live right down there. I got a foot of water in my inside my house. You if I talk to you? We're from the Huntsville Times. No, no. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. Wow. So where's your house? Um, see where the woman's standing on the porch there? It's the house right next to it. On they, the other side? Yeah, I rent it? from them. Okay. That beige colored? Yeah. Okay. What's that address? Uh, 328. So were you home today when this happened? Well, when it, started raining? it was starting to flood a little bit when I went to work this morning, and then uh, my neighbors called me up and said I had a foot of water, in, or they had a foot of water in their house. So I ran home because my, my house doesn't sit much higher than theirs. And, uh, boy, that was about... 9.15 this morning. That's when your neighbors called? Yeah. And they said they had a foot in their house? Yeah. So you came home immediately? Oh, yeah. Have you been able... How bad was it when you got here about 9.30 or so? Oh, well, I said there was about a foot of standing water in the house itself. So you were able to go in? Yeah, I could get in there, but the uh, I, uh, I didn't have a main breaker switch. And uh, so I come out and, you know, talk to the power guys, make sure that they could cut the power off for anybody that doesn't have a main power switch. So I got those little screw-in fuses. Because uh, it's, a, you know, kind of an older neighborhood right. here. And uh, so then they cut off the power and, uh, you know, just tried to get out of there, you know, stuff that we could to, you know, close and things like that. And a lot of people still trying to get stuff out and you see the boat down there they're been using that to ferry people out of their homes and get stuff for them And we've been trying to get a hold of, well, at least I have, I've been calling the mayor's office and uh, I hadn't called in a while, but when I was calling, you know, when it first happened, you know, there was nobody that would answer. It was just right. a machine and, and uh, you know, a lot of people around here have talked about the fact that there's been a problem with this before where right. it's flooded and the drains are just inadequate and um, apparently the town don't want to pay for it and the railroad don't want to pay for it. They keep arguing back and forth of who's responsible, but, right. you know, it's the people that end up suffering in the end for it. Now, I've probably lost, you know, just in some of the stuff that was, you know, close to the floor. I had National Geographics and, and collectibles and stuff that were, you know, some 30 years old, and I've just lost, you know, it's lost. It's, it's going to be so water damaged. Are you going to be here for just a little while? I don't guess you're going anywhere. Um... Well, actually, I probably am. I got to go talk okay. to my job, but okay. I, I, I'll be back up here because. Okay. Well, I was going to grab a video camera and take a couple shots, but I wanted to finish talking with you too. Yeah. Tell me your name. Uh, Garrett Patro. G A R R E T T. Yeah. And spell your last name. P A T. Uh huh. R O W. Okay. How long have you lived here? 
I've been here for uh, over four years now. Okay. And and it's flooded a little bit, never seen it this bad, but I know it's happened before I moved in there. Right. What were some things you were able to get out of the house? I just grabbed clothes and a few things that were worth some money, you know, and and that and got my dogs out of that's them barking back yeah. there. <laughs> the dogs in the car are his dogs. Huh? The dogs in the car are his dogs that he went and got out of the house. Yeah, I got two dogs and them. I'm, I'm babysitting my son's dog. He's a. Uh, I'm watching. He's he's got a little little chihuahua and I'm watching her too. So I had to get three out. <laughs> he and my son's off to college. That's why I've got his dog right gotcha. now. Now, if you don't mind my asking, do you have renter's insurance? Uh, no, I or don't. Will your home, will your landlord's homeowner's insurance cover it? I'm not sure. I'm okay, really not sure. Yet. Yeah. But we've been, uh, you know, just recently, me and some of the other neighbors were trying to get a hold of the railroad, and uh, you know, they kept giving us the same old song and dance. The last time there was a, uh, yeah. about a year ago, we had another. It wasn't this bad, but there was a little bit of a flood, and and. Uh, right. They just, kept, they just kept saying, well, we're not responsible for it, and so we don't know who's responsible, but yeah. it, it just needs to be fixed. Yeah. Did you imagine this is possible? Oh, I've seen, yeah. I mean, I've seen things like this. I, I didn't think it would be possible because of a drain. You know, I thought maybe a flash flood coming in, but I never thought that there'd be a drain inadequate enough that it wouldn't, you know, allow the water to flood out of it or flow out of it. I'm sorry. Is that what caused it to flood? Yeah, apparently that drain that they've got down here comes down through a, there's a, you can't see it, it's all underwater, but there's, between my house, or I'm sorry, the next house next to mine and the house beyond yeah. it, there's a, a drain that goes through there, and uh, it's about a 